Oh, hello everybody. I'm uh, I'm back again. So I'm going to give you my immediate Royal Rumble reaction. I've got to keep my noise down because people are sleeping upstairs. Right. So uh, I had a lot of fun watching this show. Uh, I enjoyed it a lot. I'm pretty sure that when I have my morning after pill, I'm going to feel very differently. But while I'm still high on this, I I had a lot of fun. Uh, I think it's talking to everybody out there on Twitter that makes it really fun for me. So I've got a whisper really really sorry um okay let me think from the very very top what did we see charlotte versus bailey i knew charlotte would win i expected charlotte to win i think that's her whole thing that she's not going to lose on pay-per-view so when she does it's quite a big thing so i expected that that didn't surprise me owens versus reigns was very entertaining uh very very entertaining i had a lot of fun i did not expect braun Strowman to come out i think he became everybody's favorite wrestler which uh i think they may have made their next they did in one moment more to make braun Strowman the number one baby face than they have been able to with roman reigns in three years which is pretty funny considering it was roman reigns he did it too but uh yeah a lot of tweets saying braun is my favorite wrestler if you ever saw that um, that was really, really fun. That was a lot of fun. Uh, what else was there? There was the... Oh, God. There was... I'm, I'm sure I'm missing something. The Cruiserweight match, which I can talk about, which, to me, was... kind of dead. I can go on and on and on and on and on, on about the Cruiserweights, but let's just say this. Neville comes out. He looks like a... Um, speeded up Triple H, which is not necessarily a good thing. He come out to his promo, it's that easy, it's that easy, as he's doing rest holds and rest holds. The finish kind of just was there for me, and now he's the king of the cruiserweights now. So, uh, yeah, that match was just kind of there for me, unfortunately. Then again, as someone said to me, Justin was saying, I think they did that to bring the crowd down, to bring them back up for... AJ Styles versus John Cena. Now, there was a lot of talk about what was going on leading up to this. I know a lot of people didn't like the promo that Cena did on SmackDown uh, a few days before, kind of labeling it a burial with some of the things he said. I know that Solomon Monster said, if Cena beats him, then it would validate what Cena said about him. And um, I know AJ didn't really get a rebuttal, so yeah I mean I wouldn't call it a burial but it didn't really help him you know, coming into it but regardless of that I thought they had a really 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 hell of a hell of a showing actually they went back and forth they did a lot of big moves it wasn't as good as the SummerSlam match and it's got nothing to do with who won I just think that the SummerSlam match was just better but it was a hell of a showing I mean they really really went out these two have great chemistry I could watch these two wrestle each other many times this year and not get bored um i think they could make a really interesting makeshift tag team or a super team for a pay-per-view uh, i just think there's a lot of things they could do with those two uh, and they had a hell of a showing uh, aj pretty much is their best wrestler in the company um he is he's incredible he is absolutely incredible and cena Cena lives up to his end of the bargain. Otunga annoyed me on the commentary that I wanted to slap that man, but we'll get on him next week. Uh, Cena wins. He does a, an FU, rolls through, does the second one, then he wins. And I think it doesn't hurt AJ because when you think about it, it took Cena, what, four times hitting that move before he could actually finish him. So it's not like he the first time he got it, he won. The second time he won it, he had to do two more one after the other to kind of win so it kind of it, I don't think it completely hurt AJ and to be honest they've done amazing with him absolutely amazing with him considering the skeptical thoughts I had about what they might do with him had he signed what they've done with him has surpassed what I thought they would do so I mean that's a pat on the back for all of us uh, and then we go to the Royal Rumble match now I could not tell you who was going to win this one now whether or not that was a good or bad thing I'll leave that up to you because I wonder if other people had the thing where could you not tell who was going to win because there wasn't anyone built up or could you not tell who was going to win because there was enough people built up. I know that people kind of fall between the two. So Braun Strowman looked very strong out there. Uh, what they did with him surprised me in the sense that I know that there were a few people that thought he was going to be in there till the very end. 
um, it kind of made sense that he didn't have to be in there till the very very end um, he looked very good out there really fast I didn't realize he was that quick he looked great out there um, he dashed Callisto out like um, he dashed him out like Jazzy Jeff and Fresh Prince it was great um, then obviously it was nice to see Ty Dillinger come out that really brought a smile to my face shout out to when he was Sean Spears in OVW Cody Runnels tag team partner they had a feud I remember that I used to watch that on tape delay over here I remember that those days uh, it was good to see him out there and get his little uh, rub um, I know people were expecting Samoa Joe I know people were expecting Kurt Angle I know people were expecting Joe to interfere in the Cena match I think we're going to see Joe very 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 soon by the way I would love to see Joe and Taker but we'll get onto that later uh, they kind of made Baron Corbin a made man because when they eliminated Braun Strowman they used Baron Corbin to do it that shocked me that completely shocked me I did not expect that there's like a bit of a kerfuffle and then he just whacks him right out that kind of made the crowd react too so I think in a way they've kind of they've not hurt Braun Strowman he looked as good as he needs to at his level but in a way they've kind of put a shine on Corbin so maybe for me for the first time I'm actually paying attention to him so that's a good thing um, and then what else happened in there the New Day were very entertaining Jack Gallagher had that hilarious spot where he put the umbrella between Jericho's legs and twirled it around that was very funny so I'm getting really paranoid now um, Jericho was great as always uh, Kofi had that awesome spot that he always does um, now let me get to the meat and potatoes of it now obviously there was the rumour that Randy was going to win and Bray was going to win at Elimination Chamber with that being said it kind of you know we'll go on to later so then that was what I had heard so obviously it came to fruition later on but we go to Lesnar came out started suplexing everybody Goldberg then came out after him him and Goldberg had a, a back and forth, a back and forth, which was great. And then um, Goldberg eliminates him like that, like in shock-like fashion. I thought that Lesnar was going to get back in and cost Goldberg the Royal Rumble to then make Goldberg want to go after him again, rather than Lesnar want to go after Goldberg. I thought it would be the other way around, so Lesnar costs him the Royal Rumble match. Instead, uh, Taker comes out and uh, does the whole entrance but appears in the ring face off between him and Goldberg that was great they have a mini kerfuffle then it stops then one eliminates Corbin the other eliminate, eliminates uh, Rusev and then Goldberg gets eliminated by Taker which kind of irritated me actually I really thought they should have done um, uh, Lesnar costing Goldberg to, to, to to, to keep that going but didn't happen and then I think it was like um, the WWE trolling fans it was I think everyone expected someone like Kurt Angle or Samoa Joe there's no Kenny Omega coming let's just get that straight he'll be here next year though don't worry guys um, and Roman Reigns comes out I actually cracked up when he came out and there was those boos it was priceless. Three years in a row they've tried with this man and it's the same reaction. To think though, at the 2014 Royal Rumble, people cheered Roman over Batista. To think how much times have changed, just put that into perspective. Anyways, what was shocking was that Roman then eliminated Undertaker. That shocked me too. So it looks like we're getting Roman versus Taker at WrestleMania. I have no idea what they're going to do with Cena though. Uh, because that takes Senior Taker off the table completely. And then, of course, Roman got eliminated. He eliminates Bray. Randy wins the Royal Rumble. So they've kind of gone with the safer option with Randy winning. And it pretty much looks like those rumours are going to be true. That Randy wins the Rumble. Bray wins the belt at Elimination Chamber. This is not a hot storyline for me. Maybe because I haven't been paying much attention to it. I want to know what other fans out there think of Randy and the Randy and Bray thing that that's been going on. Has it been a hot few? Because I, I watched Smackdown, but I've just not paid much attention to that. So if, if it's been a hot feud, let me know. Like, let me know what you think of this. Because it feels like it might be slightly cold, but they've got time to heat it up. Um, there's going to be the obvious complaints that no one knew really got elevated. I could argue that I think Baron Corbin got a bit of a shine and Braun Strowman looked good. Sami Zayn did much better than what 
you would imagine they would do with him. And obviously I wasn't expecting any too too many crazy surprises. In fact, there wasn't any surprise entrance to my best of my knowledge other than Ty. So other than that, it was uh, I had fun. I had fun. I had a lot of fun. Of course, the hangover cure, the morning after pill. I'm sure things are going to feel very. It's like a one night stand. It was really good in the moment, but when we wake up, was it really that good? Well, I know many women have said that about me, but anyways, uh, I'm going to stop. Uh, I am back properly this time. Hopefully we'll do some things with Grapple Vision. If you're out there, shout out to you. I'm in from Comic Book Cast. Shout out to you, my friend. Everyone on Twitter, I had fun. My guys on my uh, group chat, had fun with you. Let me know what you think. Comment, like, share, share. Give it a thumbs up, this YouTube bullshit. Give it a thumbs up. Give it a like. Tell people. Tell me what you think. Tell me how you feel. Hit that subscribe button. I am back. We're going to talk about a whole lot more things now. I'm back. Guys, take care. Peace. Let me know if you enjoyed it. And I am... One more question. Who really should have won the Royal Rumble? Now I need to go. Guys, take care before I wake my neighbours up. Peace.